Richard Ben Kramer wrote a book called What It Takes about the 1988 presidential race. At the heart of the majestic book was the personal cost and fortitude required to win and what that exacts from a competitor. Nikki Haley now faces a what it takes moment. Early before the results were in, Haley said she was going to continue and wasn't going to buckle to all the forces that want to declare the race over. She would not be the first woman who would be told not to carry on when she challenged the order of things. She declared herself scrappy and a fighter. If she were to back out now or back down, it would be a political embarrassment given her primary night declarations. Very painful. On the other hand, carrying on will also be painful. Donald Trump will go after her. His campaign has promised to, and so will many of those who have endorsed him. They will be given new energy in their attacks on Haley by the issues Haley raised in her speech on New Hampshire's primary night. She raised Donald Trump's temperament, his age, his mental fitness, his many court trials on non-trivial matters. Those are issues the party has worked hard to ignore and ones Trump's endorsers have had to pretend don't exist. She is not just embarrassing her opponent by carrying on, she is embarrassing his endorsers as well. The energy to quiet Haley will be intense. She faces not just a political test, but a personal one. If she carries on the fight, it's proof she has what it takes. But in Donald Trump's party, that still may not take her to the nomination.